The process of evolution can be very slow, and it allows living creatures to develop an anatomy that is structured for them to thrive. Dolphins have ancestral connections to terrestrial mammals. There is much research to indicate that this is with the artiodactyl order and it is believed that the ancestors of dolphins that we know and love today entered the water about 50 million years ago. There are many telling signs that the dolphin is related to terrestrial origins. The fact that they need to come to the surface of the water to get air is the most dominant factor. Researchers have carefully examined the bones of the fins for dolphins. What they find is that they strongly resemble the limbs of many animals that live on land. Dolphins have spines that move vertically, and this is a characteristic mainly found in animals that are able to run on land. When you look at the movements of fish, their spines move horizontally. The shape and size of the skull have changed over time too. Becoming larger indicating the emergence of the fat pad in the lower jaw. Helping the dolphin process echolocation and hear. Early dolphins were smaller and consumed smaller fish and organisms. Older theories suggest evolving from whales. Coming from ancestors with hoofed land animals similar to wolves. And the animals had triangular teeth like that of whales. However new evidence points to whales being more closely related to the hippopotamus. With fossils appearing over a million years after the first ancestors of the whale, the Pachycetus. Another change was the nasal openings moved from the snout to the top of the skull becoming the blowhole. So they could get to the surface and submerge and take in air. The movement of ears closer to the eyes is also part of the evolution process. There are 43 different species of dolphins worldwide, 38 types of marine dolphins, and 5 river dolphins. Dolphins live mainly in saltwater such as oceans, but some live in freshwater. The most well-known dolphin species is the bottlenose dolphin, the one most often seen in books and movies in aquariums. And is most likely to approach humans. Dolphins are loved and adored worldwide, but they are a sinister bunch, behaving in some rather unorthodox fashions. They are perverse and benevolent, committing kidnap and sexual assault, and try to mate with humans successfully on more than one occasion.